stand up for this nation called Africa because we are one. Get ready because you will go through storms. Anyone who stand up for this nation called Africa, because we are one, get ready, because you will go through storms, you will go through trials, you will go through tribulations, you will be called every single evil name in the book. But our courage is the very tradition and the purpose of the opening of this important building and institution today. I've been called every name in the book because I believe in the people, all people, because the rain falls on good, bad, black, white, Asian, or Chinese. All people have been lied to. But of all people, the house of which I belong to is the African black nation. So charity begins at home. My first priority is to see that the economical condition called poverty is removed from the very vocabulary of Africa. So if man wish to persecute me, they can continue. But you do not persecute, I but build the woman who has broken thousands of years of history and our own history and our own ideas and traditions and hypocrisy that just does not, as the youth will say, jive with what has to happen today. By breaking the rules and bringing this country called Liberia step by step back on its feet because we must grow. And then we say step by step before we can walk. So please, I beg of you, all of the chiefs, of the 15 districts, exercise patience. And no matter what is thrown at Liberia, a strong country, a rich country, rich in resources, but richer in the character of its people, stand tall. And I challenge the women of Liberia. We say we are united as women then unite behind your sister and build Liberia. To all of those and the chiefs and chairman, unite as one because of the unity and it's our tradition that gave me the courage to stand here today. I would like that unity and the tradition of respect of who we are to be passed on to our children. So, your excellency, Sister and mother, your honor, it was a pleasure meeting you, and it's a pleasure to meet you and to meet you all. Our ambassador from Ghana, thank you for Ghana doing everything possible to get us here. And to all the guests from the United Nations, from the nations within Africa, thank you, because it shows we are all one. The sun is shining, it's shining on all of us. Let us come together and unite. And let us move forward and make the world a place where God can again smile on. Thank you for being here. Oh, before I stop, I have to mention the Carter Center. I must say, before coming to Liberia, I've heard a lot about the Carter Center, but I was not informed how much they have been doing here. And it has been a pleasure to learn of the efforts and the contribution to help the people of Liberia Thank you. Thank you so very much. It is a pleasure and honor to have known you. Thank you all. Excuse me. I wanted to keep the speech short. On behalf of the African Federation of Kingdoms, and on behalf, I am sure, my dear sisters in room of all the women, we would like to give a small symbol of Africa to our first 
black female president on the planet called Earth. May I have the honor of presenting you the beads, which is a symbol of the kingdom, of the tribes, and of our ancestry to be presented by His Royal Majesty the King. Thank you for your kindness, Your Excellency the President. With all my heart and with every fiber in me, I wish you the very best and hope to see you here for the coming five years building is it stronger and stronger. And I thank Ambassador Giuliani for giving me this opportunity to come and be able to participate in this occasion on behalf of the kingdoms and all of the women within Africa and I'm sure the diaspora. Please accept this full token of our respect. Thank you. Thank you.